feels good to be back, doesn't it? <laughs> My name is Shade Ladipo, and thank you for, you know, coming to click and listen to me. Today, I'll be talking about um, tips on what not to do when you run a business. So the first thing I want to say is you must not rely on few clients. Now, it's important um, to know that, yes, you might be in business because you got one or two great, solid clientele who bankrolled, you know, your first few jobs. So now, you know, you're just like, yeah, I have my clientele. No, diversify. You need to diversify. It's great that you have, you know, those major clients who maybe got you your first few jobs. But what happens if the one key person who is in that job position is taken out of it? What happens if your main procurement manager is moved or has to move to China? What happens then? What happens to your job? It goes. Diversify. Look for more and more clients every day. One of the big don'ts of running a business, do not underestimate the importance of financial management. Please. Now, one of the reasons is why financial management is so important. So you must see what you're making. You must see what you're not making. If you have more than one service or more than one product, you must see which product brings you money. You must see which one is losing you money. So maybe you can remove that product from your service line. You must understand what your profit is. So you can project and say, okay, you know what? In the months of May to June, we're usually, we make less money. So May to June will be the month for training your staff because you've seen that your financials take a dip at that period. You would not see this if you don't have proper financial management. You don't have accounting back background. Like me, I don't like numbers. So I do courses, courses, accountant courses for non-accountants, just so I can understand the basics, because the basics is your bookkeeping. Now, going the step further is proper financial management, and then of course the last thing is the audit. All of them, very important. Please, take it more seriously. Don't ignore what's happening in your market. This is one of the big, big don'ts. You need to understand every faucet of your industry. Who are the people who consume cassava? Where, do, where does cassava come from, from a, in the biggest bulk from around Nigeria? How much? What is the going rate outside of Nigeria for cassava? Who else exports cassava from Africa to the world? Your competition is lying in that information. Or your collaboration. Know who are the biggest losers. Why did they lose? Why did they have to shut down their business? This is information that you need to know. As a business owner, there must be some kind of, you must have information about every single thing that's happening. Now, I'm not saying that you will cover it all, but every time, you must make an effort to check and know what's going on. Don't leave contingency planning till it's late. A lot of small businesses, a lot of businesses in general, do not plan for those contingencies. Because they're like, you know what, when I get to that bridge, I'll cross it, which is great. But sometimes you get to that bridge and it's burning. Mm -hmm. Let's say, for instance, you're running your company and a key member of your, of your team leaves halfway in between a very important brief. What do you do? How are you going to respond to that? Or you get hacked or your laptop gets stolen. How do you make sure work still continues? You must have plans or solutions to, to what ifs, because the reality is those things are so easy to happen. You get on a cloud network, put all your documents on a trusted cloud network so that you can access it from anywhere with any kind of device. So if you lose your phone, work continues. If you lose a staff, have business processes already written down. So if you lose a member of your staff, someone can just come, read the process, and know where to continue. This is one tip that I think is very important for business owners. Don't wait too long to get help. Now, if you see your business is making a U-turn, you're not seeing any profits, you're about to foreclose, you can't pay your staff. And it's not because you've been financially reckless, but it's just because your business doesn't seem like it's sustainable. Get help. 
There's no shame in the game. You don't have to solve it on your own. Speak to people who are in the same industry or similar. Speak to people who have run businesses for as long as you have. Find out what are they doing right. Certain information can just tell you what you need to turn around your business. But if you don't talk to someone, how are you going to know? Speak to people who you, can, who, can get, who you can get feedback from, which is why I'm not saying you should Google. I'm saying speak to people. It's never too late. There's no shame, OK? Your business doesn't have to go belly up because of pride. Talk to someone about how can I resurrect my business again. You are running your own business, or you want to run your own business. Well, you need to look out for all the tips that I just shared, because it's very useful, even for me. I'm writing them down so that I can look at them later at home and you know, re-say to myself. <laughs> As a business owner, make sure you sharpen the saw every day. Learn something new, do something new, say something new, have someone new around you. You are not an island, you don't know it all. So today, what did you learn? <laughs> all right, I'll see you next time. I'm out.